Hi, this is Jeff Glenellis from Simple Forex System and Forex Scalping Academy. And today I want to share with you the next step in your evolution as a consistently successful Forex trader. If you're like most traders, you started out using two or three indicators and maybe bought a couple of EAs that claim to be money-making miracles. But once you figured out that didn't work, you probably started doing a little more digging and learned how lines of support and resistance played such a huge role in successful trading. That alone probably improved your trading by 100%. Well, now it's time to step up to the next level in your education and start looking for chart patterns that have repeatedly proven to be successful. So today we're going to look at one class of those chart patterns called harmonic trading patterns which are also known as Gartley patterns after the guy who literally wrote the book on the subject. Now these patterns have proven themselves over time to be 70, 80, and even 90 percent successful as long as certain trading conditions are met. So what exactly are harmonic trading patterns? Well, to start, you need to understand that price action creates only three sorts of chart behaviors, ranging, breakouts, and trending. And when price enters a ranging pattern after a period of trending, it will often move in an identifiable pattern. Once that pattern reaches a certain point, traders have significant percentage chance of seeing price move in one direction. And by a significant percentage, I mean well beyond a 50-50 chance. More along the lines of a 60, 70, even an 80% chance or higher. You know, in 1932, H.M. Gartley wrote a book called Profits in the Stock Market where I, he identified a five-point pattern he had discovered. This information was later enhanced by Larry Pesavento, who wrote a book called Fibonacci Ratios with Pattern Recognition, where he applied Fibonacci Ratios to the Gartley pattern to help better identify entries and exits. Finally, in his book, Harmonic Trading, Scott Carney introduced the trading world to various alternative Gartley patterns, such as the crab, the bat, the shark, the 5-0, and, and a few others. Armed with this information, traders are now able to start drawing these patterns on their charts, along with the related Fibonacci lines, and find winning trades on literally any and every chart they trade. Stocks, commodities, indexes, forexes, all of these investment vehicles are subject to Gartley chart pattern moves. So would you like to see what a Gartley chart looks like? All right, first, this is the naked chart. Can you see the pattern? Now here's the chart with the Gartley pattern drawn in. Uh, this one is what they call a bullish shark two. It's not so easy to spot with the naked eye, is it? Notice, if you can, the nature of the entry, stop, and take profit prices, though. The entry on this trade is 1.25779, and the stop is at 1.23447. That's a 233 pip stop loss, which may be more than some traders can stomach. But the first take profit target is at 1.28638 for a profit of 285.9 pips with take profit 2 at 1.31458, which is 568 pips, and take profit 3 is at 1.33448, which is 767 pips. All of these prices are Fibonacci based, and anyone who follows Fibonacci lines knows they tend to run on the accurate side of things. But the point is, even with some larger stop losses in place, the huge number of pips that are up for grabs on a winning trade means you only need to be right about one out of every three or four trades. And with many of these patterns having historical track record of 70, 80, and even 90% winners, this means over the long term, assuming you use some intelligent money management rules, you are going to make pips trading these patterns. But as the pictures I just showed you prove, spotting these chart patterns isn't as easy as taking a quick glance and then jumping into a trade you need some exact top and bottom prices to work with, along with some price divergence and some solid lines of support and resistance. Then you need to figure out the applicable Fibonacci's for entries and exits. Then you just have to perform the same task for all of the other 30 or 40 pairs in your platform across the one hour, four hour, and one day time frames. It's not so attractive now, is it? 
Eh, don't worry. There's a simple solution to this mountain of work. Let me switch over to my trading computer, and we'll take a look at how software has completely automated this process to a point. All you have to do is click a couple of mouse buttons, and you're in a trade. Or at least set up to take the trade once price reaches an entry point. Okay, we're in my uh, laptop now, and this is the um, zip file I downloaded. I unzipped it. It's for the Harmonic Pattern Scanner Package. Uh, it contains a PDF. It's got various files, EAs and, and things, uh, but it also has an application file, and this is an auto-installer, uh, which means if you run this program, it will automatically install all the files into your platform so you don't have to worry about copying and pasting and all that other nonsense. It's actually a really good way to install uh, programs into your platform. But because it is an EXE file, uh, there's a very good chance that your operating system and or your antivirus programs are going to lose their minds when you try to run it and give you all sorts of messages and ask you all sorts of questions about whether you really trust the file, do you really want to do this. And I mean, you know, they're looking out for your best interest, I understand that, but it's a safe file to run. And the way that you would run it, um, if you right-click on the file, you get to run as administrator. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And you probably just lost a little bit of the screen a little bit for a second because I got that error message, you know, but I clicked on, yeah, I want to do this. You'll see this uh, opening um, uh, box is, or this uh, wizard <coughs> basically for installation. And the, uh, all you really do is just follow the simple instructions. I mean, you go ahead, you click Next at the bottom to get it started. Uh, this is telling me I have my uh, MT4 program is running. I know that. So uh, close your programs, basically, before you run it. And then when you open it, everything will be, after it's installed, everything will be fine. Uh, you click on the radio button for accepting the agreement. You click Next. Now, this will be show you all the various MT4 programs that you have on your platform. Basically, I have two. I've got one from Talonex, one from Trader's Way. You can install in, I think, three, three platforms. And so uh, it's just automatically check these two. If you have more than three, uh, just put check marks in the box next to the platforms you want to install it in. Then you go ahead, you click Next. This tells you it's ready to go. If you click Next, it will go ahead and automatically install it, give it a minute or so to do its thing, and then you'll be in business. So I don't have to, I'm not going to press that because I've already have everything installed in my, uh, in my platform. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens uh, once you have um, this up and running on your, on your platform. Um, this is the pattern scanner. It's an EA. It, uh, you can put it on any chart you want. I run it on Euro dollar uh, just because I run everything on Euro dollar that's like this. Now I want to, I want to bring up the, uh, the uh, guts of the program here uh, because there's a couple of things I want to point out to you that you need to know when you install this. Okay. Um, this is all of the uh, inputs that can be used. And the PDF goes over every single line on this, all right? So, I mean, if you go through the PDF, you'll learn everything you need to know about this program. I just want to bring up a couple of points that you need to know about uh, before you get started. Um, first thing is the symbol suffix, okay? Uh, you see up here, I'm running on Euro, uh, Euro USD, but it's EURUSD, and then there's a small I right there. That's what's called a symbol suffix. Now, if the I was in front, it would be a prefix, uh, but it's at the back of the, uh, the uh, uh, six-letter designation for the chart, so it's called a suffix, and it's an I. So I have to have that in here. So, I mean, you just uh, click on the box to open it up. You type in the letter, I type in the letter I, and that's it. I'm done. But what that does is it allows the program to actually recognize the chart and then do the proper scan. If it's not in there, it will do the scan, but you will never see a single uh, uh, trade pop up. You know, so you've got to have that in here. Uh, the next thing that's sort of important is the pattern accuracy. It defaults at 80, which is fine. You know, you can take it up to 85 if you want. I think you can even take it up to 90 if you want. The higher you go, the fewer trades you will see. The lower you go, the more trades you'll see. Because obviously, if you're if you're willing to accept a lower amount of accuracy, then you're going to get flooded with trades. Um, 80 is fine, but if you like I said you want to take it up to 85, that's fine too. Now up here on the TFs, that's your time frames. Uh, it defaults at 60, which is the one hour chart, 240, which is the four hour chart, and 1440, which is the one day chart. The higher you go, the more accurate you get. But if you try to run it on like a weekly or a monthly chart, you could go a decade without actually seeing you know, a good trade. 
So uh, the one hour, four hour, and daily chart is, is more than sufficient. You'll get plenty of trades. You'll see down here, I've got 10 of them that have popped up. So uh, just using those uh, four time frames is enough. Now the last thing, uh, if you come down here, it's under, I think, section three. There it is, show calendar. I have mine set to false. The, um, if it's set to true, the calendar will show up on the chart, but the calendar can really kind of obscure a lot of the chart, and it's not that easy to read, and I mean, it's not that helpful. If you've got Forex Factory Calendar, you have everything you need at your fingertips. You don't necessarily need this on the chart. I don't think it will be that helpful. And if you leave it set at true, it'll probably just clutter up your chart and be very difficult to read. So I turn mine to false. But those three things I think are the most vital. As for all the others that are here, if you don't like crab patterns, you can turn it to false. If you don't like shark patterns, you can turn it to false. Uh, but it's um, that's all you really need to um, all you really need to worry about. So um, look at those uh, those three on there when you load it, and make sure that you have uh, you know the prefix or suffix in there that you need, and uh, um, uh, you've got it set to the uh, um, accuracy level that you want and as long as that's done you click OK uh, and now that I've done that it's erased all of my trades which is fine because I wanted to show you this anyway uh, to get this started you simply click on the red bar that says scan market and when you do that it will go through all of the various uh, charts and the various time frames looking for uh, you know various trades that, that meet the, the Gartley pattern now, uh, we know there's probably going to be 10 of them that are going to pop up here. So I'm going to turn this off for just a second, let it do its thing, because it takes five or six minutes to do this. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the, uh, the charts themselves. Okay, uh, it's finished running its scan, took about five minutes, and we end up with, as, uh, as expected, 10 or 11 trades here. Um, I think there's 11 total. And uh, you'll see that uh, on the left-hand side here, it says the pair. You get the names of the pairs. This gives you the time frames. 1440 is a day. 60 is one hour. 240 is four hour. This tells you the different patterns that have been detected. And uh, then it gives you order types to buy or sell. Your, uh, your basically, these are your open prices. Just because a pattern is formed does not necessarily mean you get into a trade. It gives you an actually an entry price that price needs to get back up to before you get in. Uh, automatic stop loss, take profits, one, two, and three. Um, and then you have uh, the really two very cool features that I like about this, uh, the open chart feature, uh, and then the trade signal feature. Now for open chart, um, if you were to say, pick the uh, pound uh, uh, Swissy, take the 60 minute chart for instance. Uh, if you click on view, it will open the chart and it displays the actual Gartley pattern, which is very, very cool in my opinion. Uh, and I'm gonna try to bring this down a little bit because you can't see the whole pattern because of the nature of the size of it, basically. Okay, so we've reduced it quite a bit here. Uh, and this is, uh, I think we said it's the bullish Max Gartley. Uh, you can see, you know, uh, price goes up, down, up, down, and then it gives you an open price here of uh, 123.672 and price is currently at 123.579 so it's about 10 pips away from an, from an open uh, and you can do this with all of the charts uh, you just click on the view and it will it will pop them up the other thing that you can do if you want to take the trade is all you have to do is click the button and it will place the trade for you automatically now let me show you bring this up a little bit. I have one open trade going. This happens to be a trade that I got into about 10 days ago, I think it was, or maybe more, maybe two weeks ago, um, using this, and the trade has been open the entire time. You know, I mean, we've gotten, uh, never really went into uh, a loss. It's always been up. I've been, I'm trading pennies on this thing, literally, while I was testing it out. So it's like $4 or 40, 45 pips or thereabouts, 50 pips into profit right now. Uh, but I wanted to show you this because if I come back over to the chart and I just say take the trade, take the trade, take the trade, take the trade, take the trade. I clicked on the first five. If we go back over and take a look, well, we're not seeing them. We should see. Hold on a second. Let me try this again. One problem I have is when I'm running this, this program, unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily, or not the program, but the um, the screen capture, the video capture program, it tends to screw up most of the other programs that are running, so they don't always work. So let me hit that one. That's the Euro US dollar. We'll see if it shows up. 
Nah, it's still not showing up. Uh, let me pause. Oh, there they are. Did you see them? They all showed up. Okay, there was a little delay. Um, let me bring this back up if it will. Again, I think because I'm running this... Um, Let's take that down because I'm running this screen capture program. Okay, it doesn't want to work. Let me see if it'll close out. I didn't want to do that either. Let's bring that back. Let's go back. This is, this is what I love about doing these videos. Nothing ever works the way you want it to. You bring that back up. There is all of, I, I clicked five initially, and then I picked another one a second time, which was that pound Swissy. I clicked it twice. Um, you can see there's all the pending trades. Now, it won't give you as much grief as it's giving me because, like I said, I'm running the screen capture program for the video, and that always ends up screwing everything up. Um, but all you have to do is just click the button, and it automatically places the trade. And if you go back into the guts of the EA, you can tell it whether you want to set it for take profit one, take profit two, or take profit three. Uh, take profit one is generally the profit is uh, greater than the stop loss, but not really significantly. You know, sometimes 30, 40 pips greater. Um, by the time you get to take profit three, a lot of times your profit is like 300 pips or 400 pips greater than what your stop loss is on the trade. So, I mean, if you really want to swing for the fences, go back in and uh, adjust your take profit to uh, take profit three. Uh, let me see if I can bring that up, see if it'll let me show you what we're talking about here. Um, take profit level, it's set automatically at two. And so you can change that to three, and you know, like I said, go for the big pips, or uh, change it to one and just basically trade this on kind of a, uh, not quite 50-50, because your profit will always be greater than your stop loss, but not significantly so, not like by a factor of two or three. Whereas if you go to uh, take profit three, you do get three or four times the size of your, your initial stop loss. So you know, you've got that going for you too. This is a very neat little uh, program. It, uh, it works actually better than what I'm displaying on this video because again, I think the, the video captures what's screwing everything up. I'm kind of overloading the computer now. Um, but it's, uh, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of time to trade, you can come in at the end of each day, five o'clock, six o'clock, turn it on, run the scanner, and in five minutes, you're gonna see if you have any trades. Um, if you, if, again, if you noticed a minute ago, I, I mentioned we had two pound uh, Swissy trades, one on the one hour, one on the four hour, and we also had the same thing for the New Zealand Swissy and also the uh, Euro New Zealand. Uh, so we have three pairs that have a total of six trades. Um, I think you can probably get away with just taking one trade. Uh, if you have you know one on the 60 and one on the four hour, uh, if you wanna take the one on the 60, you're probably going to have that trade wrap up faster than if you take it on the four hour chart definitely faster than if you take it on the daily chart uh, because the the size of your stop losses and your take profits are going to be much greater on your daily chart uh, trade in most instances so if you have you know like I said two ch two uh, charts or you know two trades for the same pair I guess uh, I just go with one you know there's no need to take both of them uh, and the other thing to take a look at, you'll notice that like um, both the pound Swissy and the New Zealand Swissy are both giving out buy signals, meaning that the Swissy is probably getting weak for some reason. If you get multiple pairs uh, where the same currency uh, is showing, you know, either expected to show weakness or expected to show strength, those are probably going to give you a little bit better trade than where you have just like a euro dollar trade. And you know, the euro does show up a couple of times through here, especially against the New Zealand. Uh, the US dollar only shows up uh, twice, once with New Zealand dollar and once with the euro dollar. So, you know, it's uh, it may not be as strong a trade as where you're going to find, you know, multiple uh, trade opportunities with the same pair. Uh, so you can take a pound Swissy and a New Zealand Swissy at the same time, you know, or pick one or pick the other. Uh, the other thing that you can do is, like I said, I'm trading, you know, minimal lot sizes, a tenth of a, you know, um, not even a mini lot, it's a micro lot, basically. So with the account size, I can take all of these trades and, you know, win or lose, it's not going to do any real damage to my account. Uh, it, but I'm not going to get any significant gains out of it either. But I kept it small because, again, like I said, I've been testing it for a couple of weeks. Uh, winning more than I'm losing. Uh, I mean, I'll give it that. It's It's got me some really nice trades, and this being the end of August, that was not exactly what I was expecting. Uh, it was kind of nice to sign in here and find out that we have, uh, 
you know, all these, uh, all these really basically pretty good trades that are setting up uh, during summer. But then again, this has been a pretty good summer too. Um, a lot better price action than what was expected. So anyway, that's it. Um, if you want to check out this uh, uh, website and, and you know explore through this a little bit more, the link is below uh, the video. It's in the uh, um, whatever they call it, the description section or something. Just below the video, you'll see the link. It'll be highlighted. It's a live link. So just click on that and go to the website. Take a look and see what you think. Um, I think it's a great program, and uh, I think if you uh, you give it a shot and uh, don't go crazy in terms of your trade sizes and don't put too much at risk, I think it'll probably do very well for you over the long haul. So thanks for taking the time to slog through this with me. I appreciate it, and I hope to be back again soon with another video. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.